Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to part five of my Let's Play. Our Emperor shall awaken soon. Hurry, friends. Ooh, do I sense a climactic conclusion? Let's find out. Point A0063 is just ahead. I can just tell. Yeah, now we're getting full sentences, and these zombies will run. No more playing around. Alright, allow me to introduce you to the new zombie. The kind that has one last cheap shot. You have very little time to take those things out. For the most part, the enemies here are pretty harmless, though. Just keep up the sentences, you'll be just fine. Watch out for the hyphens, though. Genre dictionary is good. Usually you'll end up typing something that rhymes. Uh, tear kind of relates a little bit. Be so crude in the nude. <laughs> Shred it, dude. This must be the car. Man, we've we've gone from tears to rhymes. Let's hurry. I love how I'm driving a British car. I guess if it's a British game, there you go. My god, what a twist! You. Huh? So yeah, just fight this guy one more time, only he's harder because he's got longer phrases. And he comes at you noticeably more quickly than before. This guy's actually kind of stressful on the harder difficulties. See that? You got the flashing text on this. I'm getting too many bees on this guy. This is pretty bad. But I've whined about that enough already, I think. Probably do it again. Oh, I'm not. Oh, oh you've got to be kidding me. This is embarrassing. That almost never happens, I swear. Of all bosses to lose a life on, this guy. I'm going to freaking eliminate him now. This is going to be embarrassing. I gotta kill him quick. Get the shame off of me. Alright, one more hit to take the big guy down. Yeah, a flawless victory. For that phrase. Yeah, his phrases are noticeably harder too, and he comes at you a lot faster. Not good enough for me, even with that one mistake. I ain't gonna miss! That would be pretty bad if I missed that, actually. Same animation. Remember, there's no such thing as a second chance. That, that, that was a second chance! Just because you blow it twice doesn't mean the second time didn't happen. Who is driving? Zombie is driving. How can this be? Whoa! Just comes right out. I don't even know how he blew that road open. He's really spazzing out over there, just flipping all over the place. Still not convinced that I know what that trident does. You see the way the top of it's moving? They're kind of going in and out. It looks like Valdo's claws from Soul Calibur 1. You can sort of see it, right? Valdo's Katars, that is. But doesn't it look like that? And don't forget, this was released on the Dreamcast, the uh, the House of the Dead 2 anyway, so it's very conceivable that it was the same thing. Yeah, this is the noticeably different, uh, easier version of the higher fence. There's sort of two different higher fence you can fight depending which path you take. This is, uh, I guess the end of the game just gives you the easier one. I'm glad, because it took him out more quickly than it took out the first one. Too bad. You're better off that way. What? Wait, what? Never mind, keep driving. 
I love how I just skid into a halt for absolutely no reason. I didn't know those zombies were there. Pythagorean theorem or otherwise. Oh yeah. And well, once again, I started swerving before he ever landed on me. Let's go. Let's go. Oh! Prepare yourself, Goldman. Lame. This car park could be a little tricky. You gotta know which zombie to take out first. See that? I did it in the right order, but the wrong speed. I got bitten by a zombie. This is Goldman's headquarters. What? Okay, I'm gonna talk a little less for this boss fight. This is the second hardest fight Where's in the game. Me? You're... What a twist! It's the magician! The boss of the first game! He's back for more! Either I hit you, or him or will. Either way, your fate is in our hands. Okay, here's why this is hard. He gives you long phrases, and you have to type them out very quickly. But, if you make a single mistake, you will take damage. You cannot make mistakes. Huh. <sighs> Ah, damn it. Now, it might seem like I'm typing like a madman, but in fact, I'm actually taking extra diligence and care. I'm looking at the keyboard as I go. I cannot afford to make mistakes. Twelve hits of those. Now it's ironically the easy part. Take out three shots, take out one big shot. Repeat six. Or repeat five more times. Six times in total. And now for the actual damage. Yeah! Go home and be a family man. Yeah, see, I'm working my way up so I don't get my vision obscured by the other text boxes. Nice. I'm getting there. Oh, I was almost close to having another life, too. Maybe I could get it on this playthrough. Or this boss, that is. Ah, maybe not. What is it, two or three warheads? I'm already losing count here. Yeah, extra life! Okay, it looks like one more hit, so I hit him five times already. Uh, okay, it's on now. Magician's Red! Yeah! Only man himself can control its fate. You're nothing. You know, it actually took me a long time to understand what that meant because I had long forgotten what the hell the magician said to me before we fought. <sighs> oh, typing of the dead. You crazy little scamp. Well, this has certainly been fun. Tune in for the next and final chapter of my Typing of the Dead Let's Play. See you later. Too bad. You're better off that way.